Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another What Soul video. It is Tuesday afternoon, and uh, we got a little bit of packages going out. Last week was a phenomenal week of sales. Uh, if you guys don't, do not know who I am, my name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and the wife, wifey. the wife is joining me today. Uh, so we got a handful of things pulled uh, over here to my left, uh, but let me go ahead and break down these numbers for you guys. Um, we have 32 items going out over on my first eBay account for $1,273. And 56 cents and one item going out over on my second ebay account for uh 39.95 which puts us at a total of 33 packages going out for 1313 dollars and 51 cents with that being said it is uh, a little bit past 10 o'clock at night so um and i have a medical appointment tomorrow so uh we're gonna be up for a little bit tonight uh packing all these packages so with that being said let's go ahead and see what we got all right guys so this is the handful of things that we have the rest of stuff is going to be down in the garage uh the first thing going out is going to be from that storage unit um the architect storage unit if you guys remember that one is a pretty good deal found a whole bunch of vintage animal tees uh but this right here is a vintage sequest uh scuba suit pretty cool stuff uh, i didn't sell for a whole lot this is on my 50 percent sale on ebay it sold for 11 dollars plus shipping 100-46 i don't even know how to say the name tahiti something it's from 1970s it is a hawaiian shirt i think we got it from goodwill uh, i got a 50 percent off on this deal as well i believe uh, but it sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, this Netgear AC1200 router, we got that for uh, five bucks or $7 at Black Friday deals. I do not remember which, uh, but it sold for $20 plus shipping. Uh, SC29 is the SKU. Yeah, so this is another one of those Sheila collectibles, the Nightmare Before Christmas um, little uh, shelf decor type thing. Uh, these are actually kind of rare and we have a lot of them. Uh, this right here is sold for $18 plus shipping. Xbox 360 game. This is uh, MLB 2K10. Didn't sell for a whole lot. This is on my 50% off and it sold for $3.49 free shipping. Uh, this right here is a lot of four Captain America comic books. Uh, this is part of my 50% sale and it sold for $4 plus shipping. Domitize ISO 100 Hydrolyzed Fruity Pebbles Protein Powder. Uh, just got this uh, last Friday. We got that for 7 bucks from Black Friday deals and it sold for $38 free shipping. Got a little diecast car here, this Road Track. Uh, it says Nicole S on the side. So either way, we got this from the diecast car storage unit. That unit is still just making us so much money. This right here sold for $9.99 free shipping. Got a golf club going out. I'm not even sure which one or where we got this from. Maybe, maybe this is from the 300, no. No, I think this might be from the Sun City Hilton Head. <laughs> strip sale i'm not too sure where we got this from uh probably got a few bucks into it it sold for 25 dollars plus shipping final fantasy x for the ps2 also part of my 50 percent sale it sold for four dollars and 49 cents free shipping this thing right here we actually just picked up last week um at the estate sale this is a dds 504 xl uh this thing is actually brand new i, I thought it was going to be used we got this for 25 dollars and it ended up selling for 60 dollars uh, plus shipping so a little bit more than a double up but uh this was a pretty cool find so if you guys ever see this this right here should sell pretty quick also from that estate sale we found this my passport western digital one terabyte external hard drive i want to say we got this for six bucks or maybe eight bucks i do not remember uh but either way it sold for 35 dollars plus shipping uh we got this sharper image power boost deep tissue massager i think we got this on retail arbitrage for i want to say 10 bucks at walmart uh whenever these were going on clearance uh this right here sold for 27 dollars and 49 cents plus shipping and then last but not least of what we have here we have this sis science and sport uh go electrolyte supplement uh this right here we got for seven bucks at black friday deals and it sold for 39.95 free shipping all right with that being said me and the wife are gonna go down to the garage and uh pull the rest of the orders all right guys so we're out here in the garage with the wifey and piper wanted to join us today uh but the first thing going out here in the garage is going to be in g3 we're looking for a bluetooth audio adapter the wife actually found this for seven dollars at black friday deals the brand on it is 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 e or something like that yep there it is right there the wife found that i was a little skeptic of it because it's weird right the wife finds weird stuff but it did sell uh got it for seven bucks it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping all right next one's gonna be an l4 we're looking for a rexing v1 dash 4k dash camera this is actually the first one we've ever actually sold and we got these a long time ago this is uh, the right one right? yeah that is the right one yeah uh this right here we ended up getting for 
I think we got these at Friendly Marketplace, didn't we? It's been a while. Maybe Black I think Friday. So. Is, is it? I'm pretty sure. So I think we got these for six bucks at Friendly Marketplace. Could be wrong, but either way, six bucks into fifty dollars plus shipping. We'll take that all day. Uh, M5 is gonna be the next one. We're looking for some Pokemon Battle Tops. Uh, you should see them right there. Yep, two little, two little things. This is part of my fifty percent sale. I uh, had these for a little while. I think these are from the Diecast Car Storage Unit as well. Um, they sold for $6.48 free shipping. Next item is going to be in G5. We actually just picked this up at $5 day um, at Black Friday deals. We're looking for a Wacom, Wacom? <laughs> uh, KP5 uh, grip pin. And it should be in a little poly bag, I believe. And uh, yep, there it is right there. We got this for five bucks at Black Friday deals. It came in the box. The box was kind of shredded, so I did away with that because it was pre-owned. Anyways, uh, it sold for $50 plus shipping. All right, next item is going to be in K4. We're looking for Vortex Precision Series Aluminum Scope PMR rings. Uh, we got these for $7 at Black Friday deals, and I believe the wife found this one. What are they? It is Vortex Precision Series PMR rings. All right, the wife, she found them. Took her sake to find them because, like I said, we, we like to pack these boxes up. Uh, pretty good but yeah the wife found these also like this past weekend at black friday deals uh seven dollars into sixty dollars plus shipping you guys that is a good little profit all right next item is going to be an f6 if you guys remember all these little houses that we uh won on auction uh and they're, they're selling pretty good um this one's we're looking for number three that is the house that we're looking for so essentially they used to be like little liquor bottle things um but they're highly collectible sell through rate is pretty good pretty insane and uh i want to say we got like 60 to 70 of them something like that and uh each of them are going to average between about you know anywhere between like 20 all the way up to like 30 but usually in around the 20 to 25 dollar mark uh but yeah we're looking for number three all right guys so she finally found it number three uh this is a klm blue delfs dutch house um it sold for 19.99 plus shipping and just in case you guys want to know what they look like because i know we have them pre-packaged uh this is what they look like if you guys ever see these these do pretty well um, i'll show you guys the bottom of it so as you guys can see number three is right there on top of the house and then if you go over to the bottom that's what the bottoms look like so if you guys see this out there in the wild make sure you guys get them all right next item going out is gonna be an n5 we're looking for five olay daily facial little cleaning pad things uh n5 there should be one more left um and i call these grab bags uh because it's basically the same item but there's usually multiples of them like this right here see how it says sold as a set there's a whole bunch of this type of stuff that are in the bins at black friday deals people skip over them for some reason i don't know why uh because for give you guys an example let's say one of these goes for five bucks but there's five of them in there potentially 25 bucks in this case that's exactly how it ended up working out got seven dollars into it but it sold for 24 dollars and 49 cents free shipping uh next item is going to be an l1 we're looking for a law to light 9005 hp3 led uh headlight kit and it should be in the back over here somewhere i believe um but uh yeah we got these for like seven bucks at black friday deals and there it is right there uh this right here got seven bucks and it sold for 19.99 free shipping the next item i've had this for a long long time i i don't even know i think i might have five bucks into it i'm not sure uh but over on the racks we're looking for a javelia model uh it's just an eight cup uh coffee maker that's all it is and uh had this for a very long time and the wifey found it there it is right there i don't even remember where we even got this from i'm assuming a garage sale because this has been sitting for quite a bit yeah quite a bit uh it sold for 17 dollars and 47 cents plus shipping this is also part of my 50 percent sale all right coming back over here to f6 we are looking for another one of those little houses and we're looking for number four this time and i believe number four is right next to number three there you go uh this one actually went for a little bit more again like i said they're going to average between 20 to 30. uh this is number four this one right here sold for 24 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping all right, over on the racks, uh, she doesn't have to pull this thing entirely. She can just kind of show, or I, I guess I can kind of show you. Uh, but the Bose system right here, this right here is the Bose Cinemate GS Series 2. Comes with like four speakers and then the actual uh, receiver itself. Uh, we got this for 20 bucks at the Sun City uh, Hilton Head uh, garage sale, strip sale, whatever you guys want to call it. It ended up selling for $200 plus shipping. So $20 into $200, we'll take that all day. All right, next item is going to be an N, well, it's supposed to be N8, but we do not have eight slots. Uh, we're looking for two Continental uh, bicycle tires. Um, they should be like on, like on a yellow, white, and black box or something like that. Yep, right there on top. Uh, these right here, they were uh, in one bag. No, 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 there's two of them in there. Oh, there's two. Yeah, so in a lot of two. 
and we got both of them in total for seven bucks because they were in the same bag and uh this is part of my 50 percent sale i believe i could be wrong uh but it sold for 40 dollars plus shipping all right next item is going to be an l1 or l4 we're looking for another foreign led lights um might be an l1 because i think we might have pulled all of them in here yeah so looking for L1, F-A-H-R-E-N, H11 LED lights. All right, it was actually an L4, and the wife you found it. Just double check and make sure it's H11 on the back. Yeah, it should be. Uh, it sold for $19.99, uh, free shipping. We are looking for number nine, and this is actually a repeat buyer. So shout out to Christy for uh, being a repeat buyer. We appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for number nine. There it is. There you guys, number nine. Uh, this one sold for $22.00. Plus shipping. All right, now we're looking at an N9, and N9 is not here. It's probably gonna be up to the front, but we're looking for a Hope Star Wars Episode One Anakin Skywalker lightsaber collector watch. I'm not sure which bin it's in. Yep, there it is right there. Star Wars collector watch Anakin Skywalker. Pretty cool. Uh, we got this at a yard sale a while back. Paid a big bundle price for or price for a big bundle. Uh, not really sure how much money we have into it, but it sold for five dollars free shipping. Next item is going to be in G3, and this was actually found at Black Friday Deals. We're looking for a Bear Men's ExoWare Pants, size medium. Um, I believe these things are going for like 150 bucks, but that was brand new. And also, too, I think the consistent sole comps were less than the 150. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy to sell this for uh, this amount. Got this for seven bucks at Black Friday Deals, and it sold for ninety dollars free shipping. All right, now the wife gets to pull out the ladder. The rest of the stuff is going to be up there. So first item going out that is all the way up there is going to be an A1. We're looking for a Klein Tools uh, stripper slash crimper. There it is right there. The wifey got it. Uh, I'm not sure where we got that from. Black Fridays. Is it Black Fridays for seven or five or seven. for seven bucks? I uh, got this on 50. Uh, we I put it on 50% sale and it sold for eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Next one was going to be a C1 c1 and uh we're looking for a department 56 1919 ford model t car if you guys remember that estate sale that we went to in south carolina be careful please <laughs> um we already well in the green on that deal this is uh probably like a last three or four items that we have mm -hmm. uh this right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right looking in a3 now uh we're looking for a disney infinity portal base thing for the 360 all right, guys, there it is right there. Disney Infinity Portal Pad for the 360. Um, again, we probably picked this up in a lot deal. It didn't sell for much. Uh, it sold for $4.99 free shipping, and it is part of my 50% uh, off sale on eBay. All right, guys, that's going to be everything for today. We will see you guys Thursday night with what sold. So we'll see you guys in a sec. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I actually just woke up from a nap. Uh, it is 8.30 at night. I, I have really bad narcolepsy if you guys are new to this channel. And uh, yeah, I, that's why my hair looks a little crazy. And yes, I do need a haircut. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yo, uh, but no, in all seriousness though, yeah, whenever my narcolepsy hits you guys, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out for a little while. I think I was out probably like two hours so uh, but don't focus too much on my bad hair uh, as you guys know it's a what's old video it is Thursday night that means uh, Black Friday deals the bin store is tomorrow uh, and uh, yeah we got a little bit of packages to pack up before we actually head out tomorrow morning uh, so going on out over on my first eBay account we have 17 items going on going out for four hundred and eighteen dollars and fifteen cents Second account, uh, second eBay account, we have one item going out for 40, and then two items going out over on Macare for 44, which puts us in a total of 20 packages for $502.15. Uh, with that being said, I got a little bit pulled behind me, then the rest of the stuff is going to be in the garage. So let's go and see what we got. All right, guys, this is literally it. <laughs> so we're going to start it off here with the second eBay account. We have this uh, McDonald's uh, decaf premium roast coffee. 84 count we got this for seven bucks at black friday deals and it sold for 40 dollars free shipping over here we got a pair of carhartt shorts 34 inch 100 82 that is correct we got this from the bin store for seven bucks and it sold for 35 dollars free shipping another usps uh little label pen uh it's pretty cool got this in a online auction and uh this is the second one we actually sold which is pretty cool it sold for five dollars plus shipping this uh little fire stop uh stove top thingy um this right here was part of, I believe, my 50% off. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, we found this at a thrift store for like, I don't know, $4.99. Uh, and uh, yeah, it sold. It sold for $20 plus shipping. 
Little Patriot saying this is part of my 50% off, not making any money on this. I paid seven bucks at Black Friday deals and it sold for $8.48 free shipping. All right, this thing right here, the brand name is called Basuru. It is an AT&T signal booster. Pretty cool, got it for, I wanna say seven bucks from Black Friday deals, I'm not too sure. Uh, but it sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, very easy and simple for today. Uh, sales have gone down just a little bit, but I also haven't been listening um, really because we've been running around like crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go down to the garage. Oh, you guys, look who it is. It is the wifey. What you doing, wifey? I'm watching TikTok. Watching TikTok. Oh, look at the popper. Look oh, at your yeah. popper. Yeah, she was. Popper's funny, man. Like she, she's doing something new. I don't have it on me, but she's been stealing my Sharpie pens for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's so gay. Oh, she likes the ear scratch. Look at that. Oh, that's a head turner. Oh yeah. Do you want to help pull orders or not? Not today. What's up to you? No? Records? Okay, I will take care of it. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. Uh, so part of my 50% off sale. We made it here in the garage, as you guys can tell. Uh, we're not making any money on this. Uh, I believe we got these for 6 bucks at Friendly Marketplace, I think. Uh, just this little memory foam pillow. What I actually might end up doing, I might take the second one down and keep it for myself. But, uh, yeah, this right here sold for 15 bucks, Free shipping. Again, not making any money on that. What a way to start it off, right? <laughs> All right, K4. I think this is probably one of my coolest finds. Doesn't go for like a whole bunch of money, but I think that it is extremely cool. All right, guys, I got it right here. So we got this Revenge on the Boss little pull-away doll, which is extremely cool. As you guys can see here, it says Boss Tear Apart Stress Doll. We end up getting this at Sun City, uh, the strip sale that we went to. Got it for $2. Didn't sell for a whole lot. There was none. I think there was like two or three listed, none sold. So I was like, you know what, let's just put it up there. It's kind of a, it's pretty cool, like, gag gift. Um, I don't know. Uh, got got $2 into it. It sold for $15 plus shipping. Back to K4. It was sitting right here on top. I should be able to just lift it right out. Yes, there it is. So this is a uh, MyFold Comfort Grab and Go little booster seat. These things sell extremely quick. Um, and uh, yeah, I got this for seven bucks at Black Fridays. It sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, right here in N2, you guys, we got this Dolphus and something uh, little thread thingies. Um, we got this one from a storage unit uh, a while back. Um, this right here sold for $5 plus shipping. Right here, Arrow L4. Here we go. We got some ink. Uh, this is part of my 50% sale. Uh, L4 9293, that is correct. This right here sold for $10 free shipping. All right, right here in K5, uh, just uh, from last week, um, we went to that uh that estate sale um that canon power shot digital camera very cool stuff i think we got it for like six bucks something like that uh it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping oh back to l4 look at this we got another thing of ink you guys already know the price it sold for ten dollars free shipping back to k5 and i think it's actually the other camera that we found at the estate sale these little these little uh, small little cameras do extremely well especially if you're pricing good enough uh, Sony Cybershot, yes. This right here we got for like six bucks again. It sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. All right, I was very surprised that this actually sold um, right here in F1, and just because there was no sold comps. This uh, MCA Universal watch, very cool. Got it for like a dollar at a garage sale. Uh, this right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Going over here to F2. Again, I have another uh, little cassette recorder. Every single one of these that I've ever bots have sold as long as they work and all that good stuff this one uh does work got this for like two bucks at the same garage sale that we found the watch at uh this right here sold for 17 dollars plus shipping k4 we're looking for some epson ink and we actually just listed this the other day see i'm, I'm a little short but at the same time i'm not I'm not like too short to where I can't reach K's. Like my wife would have to <laughs> get on her tippy toes for that one. Uh, but this Epson 702 uh, ink, it is brand new on the inside, just open box. It sold for $25 plus shipping. Right here in L6, we got a brand new puzzle. This one is also part of my 50% off sale. Um, this is a Japanese garden. We got this like at a dollar sale at a church sale. Or I'm sorry, a dollar at a church sale. Uh, again, it didn't sell for much, but it sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, now we got to pull the two orders that were on Macari. And this is the first one, this Phillips. I, I would never sell Phillips stuff on eBay ever again, just cause I always get hit with a Vero. This item right here actually sold for $20 plus shipping and I got it for seven bucks at Black Fridays. All right, and then right here in G5, 
we sold one of these uh, cards against uh, cards against humanity expansion one through six. Got this for seven bucks at Black Friday deals, and these right here ended up selling for uh, twenty four dollars, of course, plus shipping uh, over on Macari. So, and we got that for seven bucks. So. That is everything that we are pulling here in the garage. Also too, I do want to mention that we did ship out another 15, 30, 45, so probably like another 70-ish dollars over on Amazon. We shipped it out this morning. It was some, some of those Stanley uh, vacuum bags, uh, a couple other things, um, but I already shipped them out so I can't show you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it uh, for today. Hopefully the sales will pick up during this weekend. So uh, yeah, wish us luck on that and we will see you guys Sunday night. Yo, what's good everybody? Check it out, man. It is Sunday and it is 8.30 on the dot. And uh, guys, let me tell you guys, if I sound like I'm stuttering a little bit today and that is only because I have, my mind has been going everywhere today. Uh, my brother recently uh, went overseas on business and uh, my wife is watching uh, his house and his dog and his cat and all that good stuff. Uh, for an entire week all the way until this upcoming Friday so I have the house essentially to myself uh, so, but that means I gotta pick up some slack I gotta clean the house take the garbage well I do the garbage anyways but I gotta do laundry I gotta do a lot of the wifely duties that that that, that the wifey does so I'm having to uh, do that also which which is fine you know uh, she deserves that 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 week off uh, to reset you know I, I I'm, I'm a big advocate for like mental health and I don't know if you guys actually see my shirt um, but I am uh, really big in mental health because um, I have mental health issues and and i know a lot of other people do and uh you know it's good to take that week off whenever you can so good on her to take that off and uh but at the end of the day i'm gonna pick up the slack and uh we're gonna keep it rolling so anyways let's go ahead and break down these numbers so overall my first ebay account we have 35 items going out for one thousand one hundred and fifty two dollars and thirty one cents uh, over on Amazon, we have two items going out for $31, and then that puts us at a total of 37 packages going out for $1,187.31 in gross sales. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull pack and ship these items. All right, guys, so these are all the items that we have pulled that has been around the room, uh, you know, spare bedroom, all, you know, all that good stuff, right? Uh, so first and foremost, um, I do want to say this. Uh, if you guys remember from the recent estate sale, I'm pretty sure that that video has already aired uh but this is that hummingbird fish finder wide 128 um fish finder that we found at that estate sale for one dollar one dollar you guys and ended up selling the same day i listed it for fifty dollars free shipping and uh that right there a dollar into fifty we'll take that all day all right we have two items going out to the same buyer uh so pretty much they bought them separately but we will make sure to refund the shipping difference um so this right here is a majorette diecast uh little boat and trailer pretty cool got this from the diecast car storage unit it sold for 15 dollars plus shipping uh also to another little boat trailer this is a kayak trailer same buyer also to alexander i don't know um if you are a viewer of the channel but it shows that you're a repeat buyer numerous times so if you are a viewer thank you so much for all the love and support man um or uh, whoever you are, you know, male, female, I'm not too sure, but I don't want to say your, your actual name um, that's on the shipping label, but Alexander45, uh, if you guys, if you are a viewer, I, we do appreciate it. Um, this little kayak trailer actually sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, this uh, World Beat little thing, we actually found this at Black Friday Deals for $7, and uh, I wasn't sure what it was. World Beat, it, it sounds something, something cool, right? Uh, but there's actually bongos on the inside. They are used, though. If they were new, you're probably looking at 60, 70 bucks. They were used, so I was like, you know what, let's put them out there for 25 bucks, and sure enough, it sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, guys, so if you guys remember uh, that auction that I didn't record, I went to Friendly Marketplace on a Saturday because I believe there's no garage sales whatsoever. Um, or maybe I went to a couple and it just wasn't worth it. Uh, but I did that and I got a whole bunch of cases like this empty, uh, no tools on the inside, but I decided to buy them all on auction for five bucks. We're already on the green. We already sold one case for 15 and, uh, believe it or not, this DeWalt case right here actually sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, guys, so this thing right here is a 20 volt, uh, battery and charger. Parkside is the brand. I uh, got this for seven bucks at Black Friday deals. It sold for $70 free shipping. A pair of foot joys. This is part of my 50% sale off of eBay or on eBay is what I should say. Uh, we got these for, I want to say a couple bucks at a yard sale. Uh, it sold for $20 free shipping. All right, big boy here. We have a seven by seven rocket sports, uh, net and yeah uh, these are a little bit slower than I, I would i would think especially summertime i do want to give you guys a heads up i'm actually working with my buddy if you guys remember talk about my buddy who lives right down right right over here he does the online auction stuff uh, i'm working with him 
on taking all the brand new sporting equipment and putting it up for auction he will get 45 percent i'll get 55 percent. so let's just say 50 50 whatever i honestly just want him gone i'm already well in the green on the deal uh, but I think this would be really cool to kind of show you guys how much money we're going to be making from that uh, whenever he does come and uh, talk to me about it. It should be sometime this upcoming week. Uh, but the 7x7 net, I uh, haven't sold one of these in a while, but it sold for $75 free shipping. All right, this baseball bat, you guys, believe it or not, we ended up getting this for like a dollar at a yard sale. This is a negative 10 Louisville Slugger PXT bat from 2018. Uh, this bat actually sold for $100 plus shipping. All right, this little mic tuning or mic tuning, a uh, little Jeep LED lights. I'm not really too sure. We got this for seven bucks at Black Friday deals and it sold for $100 free shipping. This set of uh, five Lego manuals, we've had this for quite some time. We're well in the green. Uh, these little Lego manuals, five of them sold for $5 free shipping. Coming over here, we actually have this Pokemon card. I already had it pulled, but I forgot to put it over here in the pile. Uh, this is a uh, Celestilla. Uh, it is a reverse hollow Pokemon card, and it actually sold for $2 free shipping. We just listed this today. Uh, I'm pretty sure the video already aired um, where I was talking about a buddy of mine named Keith. He gave me a whole bunch of video game stuff for $220, uh, as well as a whole bunch of Legos. And uh, I comped out all the stuff for just the accessories, the consoles, all that good stuff. Um, I got majority of it listed already, and... This is part of that deal. Um, it was it was about it was a little over four hundred dollars just with the accessories and the consoles. Um, the rest of the Lego stuff is going to be, I mean, obviously pure profit once I get time to go, uh, to go around that and uh, hopefully you know find some good money in there. But over four hundred dollars worth of stuff just in accessories. This is one of them. Uh, Nintendo Wii Pro controller sold for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Uh, this Scotch Thermal Laminator got that for seven bucks at Black Fridays. It sold for thirty free shipping. Uh, Elder Scrolls to the PS3, part of my 50% sale off of uh, eBay. It sold for $5 free shipping. Also, Red Faction, part of 50% off on eBay, sold for $3.49 free shipping. And this right here came in right at the last minute. This is a Lesney Matchbox Super Fast Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2 diecast card. It sold for $10 plus shipping. And then these two items right here actually sold over on Amazon. Uh, I got this for 5 bucks at Black Friday Deals. I don't think I recorded. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not too sure, but I got this for five bucks a piece and they're selling for me for $15.50 uh, free shipping over on Amazon. And we're making probably around like five bucks or so for this um, or on each one. And we had about 13 of them and I believe we sold maybe like six of them. And the rest of them are actually going to be uh, right there. All right, guys, with that being said, that's everything that's in here. Let's go down to the garage and see what else we got to pull. All right, guys, so we finally made it to the garage and... This is part of my 50% sale as well. Uh, 92.93 ink. I'm not even sure how much we got into each one of these. Uh, part of my 50% off, it sold for $10 free shipping. So before I get into the rest of the stuff, I do want to show you guys this. So we moved a whole bunch of stuff here. We took a couple things down to our personal storage unit and we added an extra rack. So the way it's going to look, just so you guys know, is this table is going to be on this side here. At least that's what the, the future is going gonna, is gonna to be like, right? And then we're gonna have one rack go this way, and then we're gonna have one rack come down here. That way we probably have an additional, I don't know, one, two, maybe three, so maybe another additional five or so, five or six extra racks going on here. That way when stuff comes in, I'll have this area hopefully cleared out a little bit more, and then inventory will come here on the table, and then we just kinda, you know, do it like that. But this is kinda what we have. Nice roomy, move this stuff over here, and all the inventory stuff, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's stuff that needs to get listed. So I did want to show you guys that. All right, looking here at K4. We're actually looking for, I believe it's right here on top, if I remember correctly. Yes, we sold one, another one of these uh, MyFold uh, backless booster seats. These things uh, sell like hotcakes over on eBay. Got it for seven and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Oh, wow. I did not realize another one of these sold. And here you are. Another 92 93 uh, 50 percent sale on ebay sold for ten dollars free shipping all right you guys i brought down k5 because i'm not sure where it's at actually nope there it is right there we are looking for the still series nimbus gaming controller i uh, got it for seven bucks at black friday deals it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping all right guys so it took me a minute to find out where this one was uh this is a vs rip spin warriors we got this from a local deal a long time ago from my boy trip well in the green this right here sold for 649 plus shipping and i believe this is also part of my 50 percent sale all right guys looking right in k4 we have this uh sport dog 
SDF CR bark collar thingy. I uh, got this for seven bucks at Black Fridays. It sold for $75 plus shipping. All right, guys, so a lot of three of these uh, veggie bullet things. I'm not even sure. I think this is from a, from a storage unit. I, I honestly do not remember. Uh, but these right here are part of my 50% sale. They sold for $10 free shipping. Down here in K5, I knew there's a reason why I kept this down here. But we actually have this uh, bear find, bear fiend. I'm not really too sure how to say that. I'm, I'm a trained shoulder support. Uh, this right here is a size five and it sold for $40 free shipping and we got it for seven bucks at Black Fridays. All right guys, so if you guys remember all those little houses I won on auction, uh, we sold another one. And like I said, we got like 300 plus dollars in all of them after all of them sell, we're probably looking at almost close to like $1,100 worth of, uh, worth of uh, sales. This right here is the one we're looking for, number 20. This one right here sold for $22 plus shipping. All right, down here in N6, we actually have this Desert Storm Pro Set. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, we're losing money on this. Uh, whenever I got it, I got it in a state sale a while back. Got it for 10 bucks, um, and it only sold for $5 plus shipping, but I also feel like this is on my 50% sale, so originally I was asking 10 for it, but uh, it is what it is. Glad to move it out, and we're moving forward. All right, over here in L1, Part of my 50% off sale. We we're looking for this one, Aki A U K E E L E D lights, and this one is 9,006. Yes, this is the correct one. Uh, this right here sold for $16 free shipping. Also down here in K5, if you guys remember from that estate sale, um, got a whole bunch of uh, media stuff and. People skipped over this stuff, and look at that, Ed, Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics. We spent $142 in total at that estate sale. This right here is pretty cool, brand new sealed, got it for a dollar, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, so this thing I was honestly just ready to get rid of. I had it out there for like 10 bucks. Somebody finally sent me an offer. This is from a diecast car storage unit. Honestly, like I said, glad to see it go. Uh, this thing right here ended up selling for $3 plus shipping. Also down here in K5, we ended up getting uh, a ring doorbell, I think it's that, yep, uh, at that same estate sale with the with the media stuff. Uh, I want to say we paid 18 bucks for this. Maybe it was, maybe yeah, I think 18 sounds right. Uh, it ended up selling for $40 plus shipping. All right, down here in G5, I tell you guys this all the time, do not sleep on, on ink stuff. And don't do it, because there it is right there. Uh, ended up getting this for like five bucks or seven dollars at Black Fridays and it sold for twenty dollars free shipping One thing I do want to reiterate even though we got seven bucks into this it sold for 20 with free shipping Even though we're not making a ton of money on this 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 is the type of stuff that I will honestly buy 10 out of 10 times Mainly because this is just good filler items make a few bucks on it take that few bucks reinvest it in other bigger items and all that good stuff But and on top of that it's, it's, it's easy easy to list easy to ship. That's the reason why I will always pick it up all right, guys, so let's go ahead and take this back. Um, this Desert Storm cards uh, ended up just getting canceled. So uh, the buyer asked me to cancel it for whatever reasoning. There it goes back in the bin. It was only a $5 sale, which is a good thing. So, And there it is right there. Just canceled, and it is what it is. All right, right here in D2, we got some more Jack LaLanne uh, parts. And I don't know if you guys can see it too well. But yeah, so but we sold this part. We decided to part it out. Uh, this part of my 50% sale, it sold for $6.24 free shipping. All right, so we're looking for number 23. And that's not the one we're looking for, but it is one of these, these action ones. Number 23, Winston uh, Noble. Yep, this is, the one this is the one we're looking for. So the garage sale where I did, I found 50 diecast cars uh, for 50 bucks. So I have a dollar piece in each one. One car will make all my money back. Hadn't sold yet. I do have multiple watchers on it. Um, but in the meantime, this stuff will do pretty well. Uh, this right here ended up selling for $10 plus shipping. All right, guys. And that is going to be the end of all the stuff today. And it's also going to be the end of the video. Um, again, we are working very hard on... Uh, this stuff over here trying to make it happen just like I said it just takes time as well as my loft with the Lego stuff and I'm trying to get a vision on how I want to do everything but you know it is what it is on plus on top of that I want to get some of this stuff off of this rack so where we can utilize that for something else other than uh, dead inventory or uh, inventory that needs to be listed but uh, yeah you know we're working hard working very hard got all this set up and I have a vision on how we're going to do it up until we can get like you know our 
our warehouse one day and all that stuff but we got to build it up you know we don't have a lot of in i mean we have a lot of inventory but we don't have enough to fill up a warehouse <laughs> so um but uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching man thank you guys so much we're so close to 5k by the time this airs i don't know if we hit it or not but as of right now uh we have not hit it yet we are just above 4730 subscribers so um yeah thank you guys so much thank you so much for joining me on this crazy journey of reselling and and uh, hopefully inspiring you guys to do it or just entertaining whatever your purpose is of being here. I do appreciate your time. And uh, and that's why I take the time to comment on every single comment, uh, doing live streams, talking to you guys, uh, because you guys take the time out of your day to come to my channel to watch me, support me. And I also want to do the same thing with you guys, no matter if it's answering questions, uh, cutting you guys a deal on my eBay store, whatever the case is, just, you know, I, I want to let you guys know I appreciate y'all. Um, with that being said, that's the end of the video. Much love. We'll see you guys next one. Peace.